Hey strong people, Kale Beck here from startingstrongman.com and it must I must be living in a tundra if you're looking by his outfit. Um, so the Arnold Amateur World Championships in Columbus, Ohio, this is not the Arnold Pro Strongman World Series, uh, the Arnold Pro, what is it called, the Arnold Strongman Classic? I have so many names, they change it. Anyways, it's not the pro show, not the pro woman show, it's the amateur show. Uh, but it's for a lot of weight classes. Uh, it's the biggest show you can get to, the pinnacle of the sport, arguably. Uh, it's always a big deal. Athletes have to qualify through various means. This usually at nationals or you know the international people have the whole different thing. But anyways, the events were announced uh, partially, kind of. So entries went live for those already qualified if they decide to enter yes for a world championship you still have to pay welcome to strongman um, yeah it says day one all athletes March 1st there'll be a log clean and press for reps one clean and press for reps so I'm assuming that's clean and press away farmers walk unspecified distance day two an axle deadlift for rep for reps unspecified on if it's elevated, deficit, standard height, etc. Not too many details and a carry of a of a block, a Moser, Mauser block for 60 feet followed by an arm over arm sled pull for 60 feet. So pretty much a, um, a repeat of the event that was at Strongman Corporation Nationals. Sunday on the main stage after athletes are cut will be a, uh, they're not announced yet. They said hopefully by Monday. It's Monday, so maybe by the end of the day. Usually those events come up later. But what do you think they will be? Um, if, you're un if you're unaware how it usually works at the Arnold Amateur is uh, for the heavyweight men, it's uh, cut down to the top 10 athletes after uh, the first two days. And for every other class, it's the top four. I have no reason to believe that that's changing. Uh, and they also normalize the points. So if there's like 30 athletes... They divide it by the amount of competitors. I know. That's exactly what they do. Um, and it's like this whole wizardry math on how it actually works. But basically, it's just like fair game after that. Uh, it's generally best to just to, to focus on the events that will get you to day two. Because there's because no, you're, you're doing two events against three other competitors. So you can't make up a ton of ground anyways. So the, the key is getting to the last day and qualifying. Um, so the, the events, I imagine there'll be some sort of loading event because uh, there's nothing else. Maybe we'll see real stones again. That'd be, that'd, be a, that'd be wild, don't you think? I mean, real by real stones, I mean concrete stones. No offense to stones out there made of steel. But, yeah, we're looking at that. I, I assume, yeah, log clean and press for reps. No details on weights. Uh, but I, if you go back and look at past Nationals and past Arnold's, you would think it's going to fall slightly in line with that. Um, in, in an ideal world, you'd imagine the World Championship is slightly heavier than Nationals. But it's a strong man. Anything can happen. Uh, axle deadlift for reps. And probably, usually they throw some weird oddball event in on day two. Uh, so let's see. Maybe a Hercules hold. We always speculate at that. Maybe something else. But I'm guessing some sort of loading event, stones or whatnot, and uh, something crazy. I'm Kale Beck. Thanks for watching. You can also read what I say at startingstrongman.com. Hit subscribe. Go to store.startingstrongman.com for all of your strongman training needs. And go to amazon.com slash shop slash startingstrongman. And anything you order on Amazon, we'll buy more, more diapers.